So good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to another glorious day on the channel where we are actually making some moves. The boys are over here today doing some dismantling of the 12,000 pound Atlas two post lift to get it on over to the new space. And meanwhile, Jake's up there right now working on unloading all of this stuff from the trailer so we can come back for round two. So we are gonna work on getting this thing dismantled. The boys here approximate two hours to get this thing completely torn down, get it over onto their flatbed, and then they're gonna be bringing it on up to the new location. And meanwhile, we've got Lone Star out here chilling, looking oh so sinister with Bandit, who's about to take on a completely new look. Now guys, mind you, this giveaway is nearly complete. I know, I know, I'm equally as shocked. December 19th is the deadline for Lone Star and 30 grand, and as the double end of giveaway bonus we added in maverick and that big text trailer that another one of you is going to take home if you get entered between now and the deadline so 15 times entries for lone star and 30 grand and the second giveaway which is the k 1000 and the big text trailer two winners two prizes and only a very small window of time to make a choice that could forever change your 2022. Now we've got Lone Star out today as our daily driver because our time is limited with this one of a kind sand wrapped high country Duramax and I'm going to embrace every ounce of it before it leaves my presence. And by doing so, I should 100% turn the rock lights on. Now we are styling. We've got a few things to do before we jump into Misfit and come down here because we have a date today with Bandit and we'll get into that in a little bit. We're kicking off the vlog bright and early. I've got a full 14 ounces of grind hard mint chocolate served circulating through my veins and I'm feeling fantastic today. It's a little chilly, but I got the insulator. So cold ain't a problem. We're in, we're out, we're all around today and I'm holding the camera down, pointing up at the ceiling in the pole building because I don't want to reveal the floor yet. I'm really sorry guys, I'm holding out on you and I'm building so much suspense. I almost feel bad doing it, but believe me, it's out of the best nature in my heart because this upcoming Sunday is the full reveal of the transformation of the pole building with the new epoxy floor. We made a special video that's kind of unlike ones that we typically typically do that I've been talking about in a lot of our past videos, specifically to highlight the whole process and how intricate an epoxy floor can truly be. Stay tuned for it. It's gonna be freaking sweet to watch. We got the boys up here hooking up to the big text that one of you is gonna be taking home with a side-by-side -side on it. We've got all the racks on the trailer. We're gonna be unloading them today inside as we start to work to unload this trailer that I have to get back to Sam because another friend of ours is gonna need it to also move here in a few days. Speaking of moving, we gotta move the old 6.7 here. I'm telling you what guys, every time I sit inside of this new Super Duty, I'm greeted with this 12 inch screen and I absolutely love it. It gets me super hyped up about what GM's going to do with their new interior and we can kind of get a sneak peek into that by looking at their new 2023 1500s, which is somewhat of a sneak peek into what they're gonna do in their HD lineup. That being said, we have a big date with Lone Star today, but we've been driving the truck a lot lately and with that comes the buildup of a little bit of road debris. Plus, I guess I hit a puddle of dirt earlier and uh well that's not acceptable Shined up Lone Star looking freaking incredible and a special delivery as we speak. So Automotive Lift Services came out today to help us relocate the Atlas 12,000 pound lift. You can see we've got the center garage bay door open. We're gonna have these boys back in and they're gonna get to installing this thing. Oh my God. Bear with me as I say, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening. Massive disclaimer, I'm gonna be on repeat for a little while because this all feels so unbelievably surreal, guys. It's incredible. 
So these boys are gonna get to work and we've got some other things to do in the meantime. But I got something special for you guys today. Rather than grabbing Misfit with those brand new airbags that we just put on the back of it, which I was excited to try, we're actually gonna go ahead and take Lone Star today. I always like to use the trucks that we build for more than just breaking necks, of course. And today we're gonna do exactly that. Lone Star with a BMW hitch on the rear, man. I'll tell you what, that's a pretty complete picture if I do say so myself. I just had to get this thing washed, man. It was driving me nuts. Now it feels so much better. So check this out, guys. Just a quick little feature for when you're going to hook up with your trailer. See how that's telling me that something's in the way? It's kind of inconvenient because I'm trying to look at my trailer hitch right there. Well, what you can do is you can actually change it to be a line so you can see exactly where you need to be and it makes it a heck of a lot easier now we are just about over our hitch, so we'll set our brake. That way we're not moving anywhere, rolling forward. Come back and take a look at how we did. Oh man, on the money every single time. Really love days like today. I feel like I'm getting so much done. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Accelerate Auto here off Harrisburg Pike in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where we'll be delivering Bandit to take on his new color, his new shape, and his new form. And we towed it in style. Legitimately, guys, I don't even say this to make it up. The reactions on the highway are just priceless. They speak for themselves. And as I sit listening to the Bose sound system in that high country Duramax, I smile as I'm vibing with the tunes because truthfully, the looks, the stares, and the reactions that are a result of the trucks that we build and give you a chance to take home are just insane and i can't express how unbelievably just gratifying and humbling and, and awesome that the feeling is other than you just experiencing it for yourself and i know those of you that have a vehicle right now that you're super stoked about that you're building up to be what it is that you're looking for experience the same thing but boys and girls enthusiasts that is the embodiment of do more of what drives you man i'm telling you that windshield time right there is priceless. So we're about to go ahead and get banded unloaded here, but I just got distracted by this gorgeous. This one's a 6.2 liter Yukon Denali, not the diesel, but it's got some sweet factory 22s on it. Look in FBI, my man, presidential right here. This is the XL. It looks like Accelerate Auto had its way with it. And the only reason that I can tell is, well, truthfully, the black is like straight up a mirror right now. This Onyx black is freaking beautiful, especially when it is priceless and clean, bro. This thing looks so good. Dude. Talking black is absolutely dope from the factory, but then it gets in the hands of this man right here it's a lot of hours Ooh, lot of dang hours, bro it looks so good and we were just sitting here complimenting the 22s Kelsey, Sick. Kelsey needs those in her Ooh, decisions decisions ladies and gentlemen should we stay factory and go with oem style 22s yeah it has my vote it has Definitely. my vote does it have your vote of course all right we got two votes where are we going direction only will tell yeah. and then we're greeted with a new appearance over here on the super duty bro and you're chilling with convict yeah, it's kind of a nice setup. Not a bad Monday. Not a bad Monday whatsoever. I guess John Broderick brought Convict down to the birthplace of Convict or part birthplace of Convict. Not actually to do anything related to the wrap because that is holding up fantastically well and you can ask him for yourself on that. But he actually just decided to lighten up the front windows a little bit and remove the windshield tint. That's totally okay. Not a problem whatsoever. I personally would never go without windshield tint and 5% on the sides, but sometimes it's just not for everybody. And Johnny Boy now over here, it's his truck and he can do with it as he pleases.
The satisfaction inside there, seeing all of their processes taking place always gets me. I'd love to sit and hang around, but we got so much stuff to do still today. But before we do so, I just wanna take a minute to appreciate art in the rolling form. We've got this six wheel beast hanging out, Lancaster local, the legend of Lancaster, as I've been referring to it, Convict. Dream Diesel giveaway number 20 in John Broderick's hands for a while now. And I'll tell you what, He's done an incredible job of just keeping this thing spick and span. I actually saw a video that he just shared on his Instagram. If you guys haven't followed it, I'll put that right up here on the screen where he was expanding his driveway to make room for his recent asset acquisition. And it's absolutely awesome seeing this truck around and seeing somebody adopt the meticulous care that we put into these trucks into now what is their own possession. Tell you what, it was long overdue for a Lancaster local winner because of the presence and the saturation of local following that I have. All my Pennsylvania enthusiasts and man oh man to see that legend of a truck stay local. <sighs> Dudes, no words, no words. But speaking of legends, we have this one and soon to be that one. And maybe if we get really lucky, we'll see all of them together in their new forms. Boys and girls, the lift is in and it's actually sitting about 16 inches higher than it did in the other shot because we've got these awesome 16 foot ceilings the whole way around. I'm still doing my best to try and keep the floor a secret. I'm sorry that I'm doing it to you guys, but I'm hoping if all goes as planned that I'll have that video out this Sunday and then no more secrets for a little while. Like just a little while. You can see we're beginning to stash our storage locations here above the hangout area and it's working out really, really nicely. Organization is an absolute must. We've got Jake doing what he does best. Taking a seat. And we've got the tools in here making their way. Compressor is finally hooked up and we're gonna have the lift hardwired here probably tomorrow and then the electrician should be all wrapped up. Then we have one last final right Whoa, that ceiling is sick, dude. The ceiling. Whoa, dude, go look at that sky right now. It looks like, it looks like the sky is on fire, legitimately, but it's not. Wow. I mean, come on. What a romantic moment to share together with the vlog. Bye guys. <laughs> and that being said, there's my last reminder for y'all to grab your entries for this sexy a and that sexy right there in conjunction with the trailer that's hanging out right next to the Kubota. You guys like that little move there? Watch this. Spotlights off, spotlights on. I've complained a lot in my day for my OGs about daylight savings, or should I say lack of daylight savings, taking away time from the afternoons, but now I can bring myself light at any given point that I'd like. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next upload.